Good morning. I grew up in the 1960s, and it was a magical time to be young. There were events, happenings in my home, in my country, in my city, in the world that influenced me and directed the path that my education and my career went. 1967 was particularly dynamic. Canada was celebrating its 100th anniversary of Confederation. There was a mood in our country, a mood of optimism and of confidence as we were heading off into our, into our second century. Every city, every town participated in the celebration. The city of Calgary, for example, uh, developed the uh, Centennial Planetarium and Science Center. But the national focus, uh, understandably, was Expo 67, which was a, a world-class, large, international uh, space, uh, science fair and exposition. It was held in, in Montreal. Elsewhere in the world, there was other sentiments of aspiration. We had world leaders who had a global outlook, who said that we do things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. In 1961, the first human being ventured into space. And only eight years later, humans walked on the moon. Mind blowing. It was the arts and culture scene as well that, that influenced me. In particular, uh, the music scene was very dynamic. Uh, it was creative, it was innovative, it was fast paced, groundbreaking album after groundbreaking album. We all loved it. Culture's fascination was spaceflight was nurtured by TV programs such as Star Trek and movies such as 2001 A Space Odyssey. They showed us what the nature of deep space exploration could be like and they inspired us by saying that we should go where no one had ever gone before. There were other influences at home. My parents, they encouraged me to dream audacious dreams but also to put a logical plan underneath my dreams. Uh, my school teachers, my university professors, uh, they introduced me to new fascinating subjects, and they also encouraged me to go home and study uh, more about the subject on my own. All of these influences converged and they directed my educational path, my path that uh, encouraged my self-interest in exploration, innovation, uh, education. Uh, the path took me, first of all, to the University of Calgary, where I pursued a mechanical engineering degree. Then on to Boston and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology where I did another mechanical engineering degree and later an MBA. And then finally on to Montreal and McGill University where I did a medical degree. After my education, I uh, joined the Canadian Space Agency, took my first space flight in 1996 aboard the space shuttle Columbia in a mission called the Life and Microgravity Space Lab mission. Myself and my six crewmates did 43 different experiments from around the world, experiments in life sciences and material sciences, this 17-day mission was a complete success. In 2009, I took a flight aboard a Russian Soyuz vehicle from Kazakhstan, launching from the very same launch pad as Yuri Gagarin had done 50 years prior. And without a doubt, the highlight of my career was a six-month expedition aboard the International Space Station again in 2009, where my six crewmates and I performed experiments in plant biology, animal biology, uh, human physiology, materials processing, fluid physics, combustion science, medical demonstrations. Again, an incredible, incredible experience. What excites me about space exploration? Well, I can truthfully say that astronaut training and the spaceflight experience is challenging. Training in spaceflight takes me beyond those things that are easy to those things that are hard, that measures the best of my energies and my skills. On a weekly basis, I was challenged to the max, not just mentally, but physically and emotionally as well. What excites me about space exploration? What's well, an opportunity to work with the best organizations in the world, organizations that are visionary, that are not afraid to take risks. What excites me about space exploration and allows me to work with cutting edge technologies on a daily basis. I also get to work with the most talented people in the world as well. Colleagues who aspire to excellence and pay attention to great detail. And their pursuit of excellence inspires me to keep taking my performance, to keep taking my game to a higher level and enhancing my performance. 
What excites me about space exploration? Well, Canada is a nation of explorers. It's part of our national DNA. Your career, if you decide to pursue a career in human space exploration, will likely take you into deep space. Ten years from now, we will have a small space station near the moon. We're currently planning on that right now. Twenty years from now, uh, humans will be heading towards Mars. Mars right now is a frigid desert. It has an atmosphere that's only one one-hundredth the thickness of that on Earth. It's largely carbon dioxide. But we have recent evidence that shows that uh, millions of years ago, uh, there were large oceans of water at the time. So therefore, it could have harbored life at one time. It would be mind-blowing, the story of the 21st century, if the first astronauts find a fossil on Mars. And your career in space exploration in the next uh, 50 years could take you to the ice moons of Jupiter and of Saturn. Uh, ice moons, Europa, Ganymede, uh, Enceladus, where again we might find evidence of life in the subsea below the, uh, the icy crust. There's still interesting scientific questions for you to answer. What's the nature of dark matter? Is there a chance that we're not alone? Are there other planets out there, Earth-like planets, that could harbor life? Are there planets out there that could harbor intelligent life? We still have many technologies yet to be developed. Uh, we need some of you to develop radiation protection devices for the astronauts who will venture into deep space. We need new real radiation shielding mechanisms that can protect us. And heaven forbid, but if a future astronaut were to be exposed to large influxes of radiation, is there a treatment that we can develop to correct the DNA damage? We need to get rid of our dependence on chemical rockets, which are not cost effective, which are technologically not very effective, and come up with new ways of launching humans and cargo into space, such as space elevators yet to be designed. And we need to develop advanced horticultural technologies that will allow future astronauts, future Mars colonists, to develop, to grow, to process their own food. So that's an outline of what I suspect your career, if you choose to get involved in deep space, will be all about. If you decide that you would like to be involved in space education, uh, uh, space exploration, then I suggest that you pursue a career path that takes you into any scientific discipline, any technology discipline, any aviation discipline, any health discipline. Maintain your state of health, work on your state of fitness, work on those personality traits that are so important to the space program and to astronautics. Teamwork, followership, leadership, multicultural skills as well. And maintain that sense of adventure as well. Thank you and may the force be with you.